Hello, my name is Ernesto Machado and I'm a test engineer at Cadabra Software. Today, I will be discussing QRules. QRules is intended for anyone who would like to leverage the power of Microsoft Office InfoPath without writing code. This growing library of commands allows developers to easily add functionality to their codeless InfoPath form. The advanced commands included in QRules can be used via rules, thus avoiding the need to write code. Here are some examples of the operations that QRules supports. Delete one or more nodes from a repeating group. Execute view actions such as inserting rows into a repeating group. Set a field value to a unique identifier in a format that you specify. Copy data from a secondary data source into a repeating group in your main data source. Save a file or an image attachment in your form to a separate document type in order to minimize the size of your form. During this video, I will demo the last operation on this list. Note that some operations performed by QRules require DBXL, and some will work with any codeless InfoPath form. The operation I will now present requires Kadabra's DBXL. One of the features in QRules is the ability to extract attachments from your XML document. This way, you can ensure minimal form size and improve performance. QRules does this by moving the attachments out of the form and replacing them with links. This is the DBXL administration tool. Here we see the QD file document type, which currently has zero documents. The form called QRules demo will allow us to see how the attachments are extracted from the form. This is the QRules demo form. We first click the attachment control. Select a file and click Insert. Then we click the Upload to DBXL button, which has been configured to call the necessary QRules operations. And voila! The attachment is saved to DBXL as a QD file, and the attachment is replaced with a link. If we return to the DBXL administration tool and hit Refresh, we will see that the QD file document type now has one document for the text file that we just uploaded. We can perform the same operation for images, as well as uploading more than one simultaneously. To show this, we attach two images, and then click the Upload Set to DBXL button. Both images are then saved to the QD file document type and replaced in your form with links. Whenever you need to open this form, the images will not need to load but the links will be there in case you need to open them. Upon refreshing the DBXL administration tool, we will see that the QD file document type now has three documents, including the two for the pictures we just uploaded. If you would like to try QRules, you can download a free trial version from infopathdev.com, or you will also find documentation for the other features. Thank you for viewing the QRules demo.